Oh, again, I'm not in this. Calvin, you need to go. No, this is bullshit. Sabrina, I'm done with I, this. I'm not dealing with this. No, Sabrina, you know I'm not I doing need it. This I'm not. Money. I'm not. I'm not yo, don't grab her like that, bro. No, shut your ass up. Yo, Maurice, you better get your boy. And what the f you gonna do? What? And that's looking. What? Maurice! Oh my God, stop! Oh my God! What's up, guys? I'm Crystal Lee Naomi, aka Jasmine Borders, now Tyler Perry's sisters. Be sure to subscribe to the Haves and the Have Nots review for not only reviews on the Haves and the Have Nots, but also on sisters. And while you're at it, give your girl a follow on Instagram at Crystal Lee Naomi. And I'll see you every Wednesday at night only on BET. All right, sisters fans. Uh, I only had about, aside from the review and trailer and three other videos, I think this is the only other video I really need to do for this particular episode of the week. So. We're talking about the Calvin Br uh, Bank Brawl, and I actually went into good detail about it in my episode review, but sometimes when a scene's so good that brings about a solid conversation, I got to do a separate video on it, and I feel like it goes about saying everybody and their mother is talking about that spin move that Calvin did after getting punched. Not only that, you know, when he tried to get back up you know he fell back down and looked like a break dancer trying to get to his feet and then you know looked like he was dancing in the club before he finally got himself together like he was ready to box but by that time it's probably been like 15 minutes since calvin uh got his ass laid out on the floor and jacoby was already gone and sabrina was in the back clearing up his account so before moving forward in the video please take a moment to hit the like button hit subscribe, hit the bell icon and select all. That way you don't miss out whenever I post content to the channel and follow me on social media. Links are in the description box below. Now, in the review, I went into great detail about how for the most part, and I mean for the most part, not everybody involved, everybody almost had a, uh, they were in the wrong. Aside from Jacoby, now you can say what you want to, but Jacoby literally did nothing wrong. I mean, he came to his manager's defense when she was physically grabbed by an enraged customer. And he was the one who was shoved first before he knocked the hell out of Calvin. So I don't see why he was suspended aside from if you want to just say, oh, the only reason he got suspended is because Sabrina still, you know, feeling something for Calvin. Like if it was Jacoby lay down on the floor, she wouldn't have said anything like she would have done for Calvin. I agree. I feel like, you know, because Jacoby is Sabrina's side piece while she's really feeling Calvin, just like Paris is Andy's side piece while she's feeling Gary and Aaron is Karen's side piece while she's feeling um, Zach. So I feel like Jacoby got the short end of the stick, even though he inserted his pole in Sabrina, um, you know, last night. But I just feel like, uh, as I mentioned in my review, as somebody who worked three years in customer service, I know what it's like to deal with a disgruntled customer. And I have to say that dealing with them in the manner that Sabrina did was very foul. Because if you go back and rewatch the scene, Sabrina was very dismissive. Now, you could argue, well, Jeremy, she was just saying that she was following protocol and whatnot. But if you listen to how she spoke to Calvin, and I'm not saying he deserved the best customer service because of the way he just barged into the bank cursing at people because apparently they weren't moving fast enough for him. How long does it take to open the damn door and everything like that? He basically acted the same way he did when he barged into her apartment last night and basically told Jacoby to step, even though he had no right to do so. So I feel like in this matter, it's like, oh, uh, yeah, 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 it was very, very rude for you to do that to Sabrina and her apartment and to her guest. But this is a place of business. So if you want to start some stuff, you can go ahead, but you're going to go viral for the wrong reason. So with uh, the bank situation, Sabrina comes out and basically tells him by the book, hey, you need to file a police report and then we can move forward with this request. And I can understand Calvin being upset because Maurice was the one. And I could, you could argue that Maurice was messy in how he handled the situation. But he even said, you know, hey, I sent you a detailed email, Sabrina. Did you get it? And I told you everything that happened and why Calvin needed to come down because you're the one who could get it done the fastest. Not any other branch could do it. So I feel like um, Maurice followed things by the book. It wasn't him causing a mess because... 
there's no reason for him to start crap because like he said over and over again, I need to make sure you got your money so I can get your half of the rent. So when it comes to Calvin, you know, it's like I feel disgruntled because first of all, I don't want to go down there since I know somebody at the job who I don't want to interact with, technically two people, Sabrina and Jacoby. But on top of that, you're telling me there's nowhere else I can go. So I go down to the bank, wasting my time and gas money. And then when I get there to handle the situation, you tell me you can't do anything because I need to file a police report. And then Sabrina's like, well, yeah, see, I got in big trouble last time trying to help out Andy. And then I want to make sure I follow things by the books this time. Even though if you go back to season two, Sabrina's boss told her, hey, you did nothing wrong. So in retrospect, Sabrina's reasoning here doesn't make sense. So I guess you could say that, well, yeah, I just cleared the transfer for Andy because she's my friend. But then after the research, it's like, oh, you need, did nothing wrong. So in this case, I guess you could say, Sabrina, I know Calvin, but I'm not going to do it because protocol stays need to police report first, even though after he got the, the shit knocked out of him, she decided to do it anyway. So, I mean, did she do that just because she felt bad or did she do that because she didn't want Calvin to file a lawsuit against the bank because he was assaulted, even though he was the aggravator and made the first physical assault towards Sabrina and Jacoby? So, I'm really not sure how to read this scene because, to be completely honest, it was almost as confusing as the will they, won't they between Sabrina and Calvin to begin with. So... I just feel like at the end of the day, um, this situation could have been handled a lot better by all parties involved to an extent. Maurice and Jacoby, I let them get a pass because Calvin was the one that started a lot of this shit. But then Sabrina just escalated because it would have been different if, let's say, you know, after reading the email, she would have responded to Maurice saying, hey, I read over the situation, but I want to follow it by the books. We need Calvin to file a police report or she could have called him directly from the bank phone. Calvin, Maurice told me what happened. Uh, before I can help you, I need you to file a police report. That's really all that needed to go down because that would have made Sabrina look a little bit more dismissive because if you rewatch this scene, looking at how her body language was as well as her tone of voice, she was just, it really felt personal. And I can understand Calvin getting upset about that, but I just feel like, you know, Calvin, you say it was a sucker punch, but nah, fam, it's like, Nah, you, you had it coming. I mean, I just hope he takes Maurice's advice and says, hey, move on. Because in the preview, we see him at that club with another woman. My hope is that Maurice doesn't go run his mouth to uh, Sabrina. Well, guess what? I was at the club and I saw and I saw Calvin with another woman. She was white. It's like, bro, just please don't do that. Just all you're going to do is make Sabrina paranoid, which to be honest is her fault. Like, yeah, I'll be upset and annoyed if Maurice tells Sabrina what Calvin's doing because you're the one saying move on, yet you're causing more drama. But then again, thinking back to what Calvin told Sabrina, if she hears what Maurice says and then allows it to get to heart and then she'll probably call Jacoby as a reflex, then that's her problem because she's allowing Calvin moving on to affect her, kind of like Zach moving on to Fatima allowing her uh, allowing Karen to get messed up in the head as well so let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what did you think about the bank scene of course you know everybody's talking about Calvin's freaking um hit, the way he was just spinning like a damn pinwheel before he finally fell to the ground it reminded me of that Kevin Hart sketch from back in the day what was it um damn what was that thing uh I'm a grown little man and um <laughs> He was like, how long does it take for you to fall down? You ain't got to bring everything down with you. Just, damn it, just fall already. Just fall. But uh, I have to say that this was a very funny scene, and I can see why people constantly talked about it, um, um, you know, since it aired. But I, I will say that, you know, prayers to uh, Anthony Dalton. I, I, I did see a couple of days ago that, you know, well, it's no secret that, you know, about a week or two ago he posted that he is expecting a child, expecting a, a, a baby son soon. But then also a couple of days ago, he post, posted that um, he lost his mother. So prayers uplifted to you and your family. And, and I hope that, you know, while we're laughing, you know, um, 
like for example that video I posted with that gospel song we fall down but we get up I, I hope if he sees that video that that might bring a little chuckle to him especially in this time of need because uh I feel like um like Tyler Perry said when he brought when he announced that Medea is coming back with everything going on in the world today, we certainly could all use a laugh. So uh, just thank you, Anthony, for as ridiculous as that fall to the ground was and how unnecessary or extra it was. You gave us all a very good laugh, and I feel like we're going to be talking about that scene for quite a while. So um, I, I dare say that this particular scene here is going to be the new vibrator scene because, you know, up until this point, everybody could just talk about nothing about calvin liking sabrina's toys but this scene was something else also it was said that it was calvin's scream when he got hit but i could have sworn that was maurice not to mention when he got punched in the face how would he scream like that if his jaw was hurting but l l let me know your thoughts below and as always if you want to donate to the channel feel free to do so on paypal or cash up cash app it is very much appreciated and with that being said i'll talk to you in the next video